Imagine a home that is not only energy efficient, but also incredibly strong, quiet, and built to last generation. That is the power of insulated concrete form, or ICF for a two-story home. But is it worth it for your project? In this video, we will dive deep and break down everything you need to know about building with ICF. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey guys, I'm Jesse, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking ICF and how it's been a game changer in construction for residential homes. Now this one is a two-story home, which is a little bit different. Number one, superior insulation. Number two, unmatched energy savings. And three, extreme durability. Let's get into it. All right, for those of you who are not new to the channel, you've seen these before. However, for those who are new, this is ICF. In fact, it's all around. You can see it throughout this house here at Liberty Estate. What is the benefit of this product? Now this one's a little bit dirty, but don't pay attention to that. These stack on top of each other like Legos. They lock into place and then in between here, we have these ridges here, as you can see, where rebar gets stacked. And once that is all put into place, they fill this center cavity with concrete. Not only does this create a great insulation, but it also creates great sound. Now I live in central Phoenix where it's just basically slump blocker, masonry, not even filled with anything else, but basically it's just masonry stacked on top of each other and then you know very little insulation my house gets hot in the summertime this is going to keep that thermal break from making it from the outside to the inside so when it's summer all of the cool air that we're trying to do here in arizona when we're cooling a house we're not trying to heat it ever we're trying to cool it it's january and i'm in a t-shirt so that tells you something with this not only is the insulation going to be fantastic but it's also going to soundproof this house like crazy N and not only from the outside but also from the first level to the second level because up above is a concrete floor so this is going to be a very quiet house and Brad has six kids so this is going to be key so why choose ICF for a two-story home well, let's break it down. Energy efficiency. ICF walls provide a continuous insulation, drastically reducing energy bills. Number two, durability. These walls can withstand extreme weather from hurricanes to earthquakes. And in Arizona, we have haboob, soundproofing. Want a quieter home? ICF significantly reduces outside noise and also interior noise. And number four, fire resistance. ICF walls are rated for up to four hours of fire resistance, giving you peace of mind and the ability to call for help. Now it's said that ICF can reduce your energy costs by half. Now, is that accurate? I don't know, because in this situation, if we were to build Brad's house out of normal stick frame construction with the energy efficiency of spray foam and stuff like that, I think we could reach something close to it. However, if we take the idea of the same size home built in the same type of construction that my home is built in, then it's possible that it would cut the energy savings in half. However, for me to say with certainty that it cuts it in half, I can't say that. However, I do want to say that obviously the energy efficiency of an ICF home is going to be far beyond a standard stick frame construction. Building a two-story home with ICF follows a straightforward process. Number one, the foundation. The ICF blocks are laid on a standard concrete foundation, which is pretty typical here in Arizona. We do slab on grade and because of our frost line, pretty shallow that we dig. Number two, stacking the walls. Blocks are stacked in layers and steel reinforcement are added for extra strength. Number three, pouring concrete. Concrete is poured in stages to ensure even distribution. And number four, adding floors and roof. Floor joists and roof systems are attached just like a traditional construction. So now in this home, one thing that we need to consider is the steel 
up above. This is unlike other ICF homes that we've built. And in this situation, we've got steel spans going across the entire span of the home, which is gonna create even more strength and stability as we've talked about it in previous videos. However, even if you were to build an ICF home with regular stick frame lum lumber, you're still gonna have increased strength and durability that will stand the test of time. Now, let's talk cost to building with ICF. When you're building with ICF, one of the things that is a general rule of thumb that we see in most cases is a five to five to 10% increase in building costs. However, you make it up in the energy savings, the durability, maintenance, because ICF not only is it good for energy efficiency, soundproofing, and all of that, it also limits the amount of dust and bugs and things that can get into your home. So with that being said, there is a long-term savings but a cost up front. So if you're able to take on that five to 10% uh, change or increase in the building costs, you can definitely move towards an ICF build. However, if you're not willing to take on that kind of increased cost, then we have plenty of other methods that we would utilize in construction. Obviously, spray foam is the method that we typically use in a lot of our general stick frame custom home construction. And that's not a bad option. One, we still get strength, we have, still have durability, and we have the spray foam insulation as the energy efficiency. Now the question is, is ICF for you guys? If you're building a custom home, talk to your contractor. Your GC should be able to explain and also tell you what the increased cost could be because five to 10% may not be an accurate statement for where you guys live. However, if you guys have questions about ICF and you want to learn more, comment below. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to help. Thanks for sticking around with me today. I truly appreciate you. Have a great day.